My name is Robert Bully Williams. And I am just, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for all of the support you have given me over on Facebook and YouTube. We got well over 90,000 views have been looking at the videos that have been posted, that I have posted up. And mainly I do the videos to make sure people happy and see something that they can enjoy looking at and also be able to give up some history to some young people. Now, let me first say, I'd like to wish each and every one of you a happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Now let's get down to the business. Why I'm here. I'm here because I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off with Jack Yates, some of the classes at Jack Yates, mainly the people in the 1950s, the, the group called the Fabulous 50s. Now I've been videotaping them since 2015. And no, they didn't ask me to do this. I did it because I wanted to do it and get some of the black history of Jack Yates out there. Now, I have videotaped the Christmas parties 2015. I videotaped the Christmas party 2016 and all the events that they had. This is the letter that I wrote to them. I don't know if they wrote it or tore it up, but I know one thing, I got the video. So I'm on YouTube. I got the media. Here's what this is. To Jack Gates Fabulous 50 from Robert Bully Williams. Thank you for helping me document all the events that I came to and made history on YouTube. And let me explain, because all of them are older people and they're not into the computer, uh, especially the social media. Facebook is like the newspaper. It changes every day. YouTube is a history channel. It never changes. It only restores music, videos, or old TV shows. It don't even restore pictures. That, uh, and it's like Amos and Andy and old radio shows and et cetera. For the future, all over the world, that's what YouTube does. It restores the future for all over the world, not just Houston, not just the United States, all over the world. Okay, I'll be, I've been videoing the events from 2015 to 2016 are locked in the YouTube and Google. Even a library of Jack Yates events that they had from the 19, the, the classes from 1950 to 59. Okay, and that will live on in the computer. After you die, these movies will continue to go on because the computers ain't going nowhere. Okay, now, what did it cost Jack Yates, Fabulous 50s. Okay. It didn't cost them nothing. Okay. How much did they donate to help keep their legacy to stay alive? Nothing. Words are free. Thank you is free. Today, people want to see some appreciation. They want to see some appreciation. That means give them something. Okay, this is in the letter. Now, today is about action and appreciation. The only support I got came from Dan, and, and he is handicapped. He's a very good friend of mine. He's the only one that helped me in a wheelchair. He's the only one who bought any DVDs from me other than what Robert Jones has tried to sell him. I lost a lot of money thinking that they were going to buy these DVDs to show their kids and their grandkids, but they weren't interested in that. I even took pictures of them for their mother's day. They didn't even want to buy them. So I don't know, but now they can donate all these scholarships and all this so-called stuff they donate to Yates. But me, technically, I'm not going to go through the letter, but I will go back and we'll tell you this. Nobody donated me nothing. They not even gave me a Christmas card. Not even a birthday card. Didn't nobody say, Robert, man, we really appreciate what you're doing. Man, let me buy you something for your birthday. Let me take you out and cough it. Man, they ain't do none of that. Jack Yates and the Fabulous Fifties are what I call selfish. Yeah, they selfish. 
they've been selfish. I've been working with them. I've been watching them. They think I wasn't. They think I'm sitting around there being a damn fool. They're crazy. Check on me. See who I am. Phyllis Wheatley know who I am. They don't give a damn about Jack Yates on Samson. Only thing they care about is Mr. William Holland and 2610 Elgin. Yeah, they say they donate. Oh, hey, man, you donate that because you're writing it off. You want to feel something in your heart. That's just like giving money to the church. But how many times have they came around? Yeah, they came around Jack Yates uh, for the city hall because Arthur Howard asked them to come to city hall. And they came dressed up in their red and gold like they supporting Yates only because they thought they were going to be on TV. They thought the white folks were going to be there with a camera. But they wasn't. Only cameraman was there was me. Okay. Now, but in the letter, let me go back to show you that I got God. See, I did that. In the goodness of my heart. You say, well, why are you making it? If you did it from your heart, why are you making it? Because I got, I got feelings. I got appreciation. And that's why I'm making this video. To let you know how my feelings is. Because, see, if I didn't make this video, I would be so upset. And Satan would be in my heart. I would delete every doggone video I put up there. But I know it, it ain't about them. You know, it's about the school. It's about Reverend Jack Gates. It's about Mr. James D. Ryan. It's about Mr. William Holland. It's about Dr. Carwell. It's about G. Mr. Alexander. It's about those people. That's why I didn't delete it. That's why I had to make a video on it. So I wouldn't delete it so I can get this out of me. I don't give a rat hell about anybody getting mad. I don't care. That's your business. You ain't did nothing for me anyway. I've been helping you. And anyway, I see it like this. Facebook family, Jack Gates family, and to myself. That any time people think they are using you, and they say, well, thank you. Well, thank you is just like saying amen in church. Do you really mean it? Show you. Action show what you mean. If you mean something, get it in action. I, I put it down as this. The legacy will live on with the young people. That's why I didn't delete it. And I thank Mr. Robert Jones because Mr. Robert Jones, the class of 55, they were the only one that ever helped me do anything. They tried to help me. Mr. Robert Jones, and also helped try to sell some DVDs for a 60s class reunion. They tried to help me, and I thank Robert Jones for that, and the class of 1955. Then we came down in 56. They didn't even mention me doing the video. They bought three videos. And these are older people. These people are old enough to be my parents. These people are way past 70. Some of them are already past 80. Now, you mean to tell me I got to tell you? Hey, I'm, I'm charging you. The waitress, when you go to a place and eat, she don't tell you about, are oh, you going to leave me a tip? They figure you giving them service. The least you can do is show them some appreciation. You know these videos ain't free. My gas ain't free. I ain't in your class. So what am I getting out of this? YouTube is not paying me. And I'm not griping about the money because God blessed me with the money. But I go on to say this. I don't need to read it because I already know it's in my heart. Anytime somebody thinks they're using you and tell you thank you, in reality, God is telling you, well done, my servant. I got your blessing. You just keep giving. And I'll take care of you. God is in my heart. And that's what counts. God said, you just keep giving. And I'll keep blessing you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep giving. And as far as whatever Jack Yates in the fabulous 50s, let them keep their money. I'm not broke. I don't 
don't walk around with no iPhone taking pictures on no smartphone. I got the top of the line Canon camera. It's made for video and taking pictures. So I'm not broke. Keep your money. Because God told me, well done, my servant. You paid in full. And like I told Jack Yates class in 1950, I'm paid in full. They don't owe me nothing. God give me all my blessings. I'm 69 years old. I never go home to the doctor. I don't take no blood pressure pills. My blood pressure is 80 over 32. I'm 32 over 80. I eat healthy. And I'm real blessed. I don't have to want for nothing. So God is blessing me. I don't take no medication. Give me zero. So I'm blessed. I got good knees. I got good back. That's blessings. That's from God. That ain't from man. So I gave them that letter. Whether or not they read it, threw it in the tray. It said, paid in full. Now, don't we have an awesome God? You know, I even, let me tell you what else I even done. Because I'm trying to get all the black history I can. And these people are selfish. That's why you have no Jack Gates Library. Everything I got has come from Phyllis Wheatley because Phyllis Wheatley have donated everything over there at the library at Gregory Elementary School. Jack Yates ain't even got a yearbook in there. Most of the people with Jack Yates, I want to keep my yearbook. What the hell are you going to do? Put it in the casket when you leave here? You can donate it so other people can see it. That's selfish. But that's Jack Yates. That's how some of them are. But not at Phyllis Wheatley. You can go over Phyllis Wheatley and find 1949 yearbook all the way up until 1990. Yearbooks. Well, people have died or people have donated it to the library. Not Jack Gates. I even, and not only 50s, 60s, ain't got nothing either. They ain't no better. 70s ain't no better. 80s ain't no better. I got to tell you something about them too. Them youngsters. Yeah, they zulu me too. What you call Zulu, they know what Zulu mean. They messed over me. But let me tell you this. I go over to the old Ryan. Used to be Yates, where they graduated, 2610 Elgin. Talk to the principal, talk to the security guard, and ask them, could we bring the fabulous 50s in there to walk the halls and, and see some of the stuff that they used to go to? They said, yes, we'd be delighted to do that for you, uh, Mr. Williams, after they had been hurting so bad. And the Jack Yates class of 1985, well, what you expect about them? Promise me, yeah, I'm, we gonna do this. Mr. Williams, the girl, Marie called me all day. She's a Facebook person. She loves social media. Mr. Williams, please come over there and take us, uh, take some pictures for us, because we wanna take some pictures of the, of the class before they get ready to, to close the school down, because the, that place on, on Samson's gonna be history. That building's gonna be towed down as soon as them kids exit out of that building. And they get through with that new building. They're they almost through with it. They're going to transfer them kids right on over there to Alabama and demolish that building over there on Sam's. And that's the, that's the real deal. Anyway, I go out there. I pay Eddie because I know I'm going to get paid. I pay Eddie. Eddie will. He's the one that helps me. And do you know we took pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures. And I even made videos. And then nobody give me a doggone dime for my gas, for my time. I had to pay Eddie Webb out of my pocket. Because Eddie gonna get paid. He didn't go to Yates. He went to Wheatley. So he do something for me, for Yates. He expects something out of it. I lost money. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you what they did. Or what I think they did. After I posted that stuff on Facebook, they took what they wanted, saved the pictures that they wanted. So they never did have to buy them from me. But that's okay. We got an awesome God. Because you know what? You can go around with your little iPhones and your smartphone, but you know what? You ain't got a Canon T4 camera.